and respectfully ask the court to enter pleas of not guilty on Mr. Burke's behalf. Timothy Burke entered not guilty pleas to two counts of aggravated murder. Investigators say he shot and killed Karen Kep and her husband, DeVito. Kep was a chiropractor, and when she didn't show up to work last month, friends and family knew something was wrong. January 29th. While dozens of loved ones watched the arraignment on a Zoom feed, the courtroom gallery included one of the couple's sons and a former patient of Kep's. Kind, smart, genuine, just exceptional. So a lot of people loved her. There is so much love in the community. Um, friends, patients, neighbors. Pauline Dutton is Karen Kep's sister. She says knowing Burke is now charged is a relief for the family. They're also grateful because after two weeks of searching, the couple's remains were discovered on Saturday. A lot of prayers were answered. Burke had been living in a garage on the couple's rural Thurston County property. Detectives say the couple was in the process of evicting Burke when he killed them at their Olympia home. The sheriff says the couple's remains were found about a half mile from where Burke was living. As difficult as it was for the family to think about the bodies just left in the woods, it does provide them with some resolution. Sister Pauline thinks about what Karen would have thought. She always talked about everything being a blessing. And I had to shift my perspective and say this was a blessing. I mean, the timing was great, um, you know, for the hearing, and it brought a lot of... Um, Comfort to us because we we had we could stop worrying. Now the focus is on the justice system. The family knows those remains are a key piece of evidence in the state's murder case against Timothy Burke. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.